Ted Chung representing Stampede Cashmere. Welcome to Mixly.com. Mix League attended the South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas to talk to the artists and trendsetters of America to find out how they would handle doing business in the three largest markets in Asia, China, Japan, and Korea. These three countries have a combined population of 1.6 billion. These countries also produce a very thirsty market with the consumption of alcohol going hand in hand when doing business. All three countries have their own unique drink of choice, sake from Japan, soju from Korea, and beiju from China. Because drinking is, is somewhat of an important part of the business culture in Asia. So we wanted to see what, given that they're important markets, what Americans here, especially at South by Southwest, and the artists who are the trendsetters, thought about the difference between those three liquors. Soju. Soju. Ooh. That's actually really, really good. Huh? I can't even see what's in the fucking bottle, so first of all, that's bad. Let me pour some of this out. Oh my. No. Okay, wow, this is a very nice bottle. I like the presentation already. The presentation is already a good look. Very exquisite. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, that's good. That's good? Okay. So that was too much. That's good. <laughs> to Korea. To Korea? So <laughs> Wow. That was smoother though. That was very smooth. That was smoother. Sort of like us an elixir. Yes. Very, very smooth. Soldier, let's try it. If you go downstairs, you're not even passing good. Oh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I feel like Kim Jong Il in this bitch. All right. Okay. That's kind of like ooh, that'll start a car for sure. That'll start a car. Okay. I, okay. Okay. Now wait. Now I'm drunk because I'm not really a drinker. But hold on. Man, I'm already loaded. By the way. So. Oh my God. How do you people? Not even you people, but. Oh my goodness. That is horrible. This is out. This is, I'm not doing nothing with that. Behind. I like the texture. The aftertaste is very, very rewarding. It's very sharp. Very rewarding. Very, very nice. shocking, actually. That's a, that's a great, great job. Okay, Chinese. Great job. We like what you guys are doing. Okay, Beijing, let's go. There's like a different Chinese famous liquor. Holy. This is what makes you guys kick niggas in the face like that? Holy shit, man. I wonder why it's famous. We're gonna taste how the sake tastes. I never tasted sake, so. Ah! 
Don't, actually, it doesn't even taste like bad. It tastes like, like um, Canadian sherry if you ever had it. This drink called Kelly's makes niggas go wild. Like, you punch your own grandma in the face for it. Sheesh. That's easy. That's sweet. Can? Hope you're good. This one is very warm. Very warm, very light, a lot easier than the previous two. You know, this one, the approach is very progressive, like, it takes you to a, a, a beginning, then a middle, and an end. Like, you can, you can feel the texture. You it's a great starter, it's a great starter at the business meeting. Alright, last one left. This is Sake from the homies of Japan. Let's see how this goes down. Saki is way better than, oh god, I don't even want to mention the two, but Saki is sweet and smoother, and I'm Chevy Woods at the Taylor Gang, and I might be able to drink this whole bottle. Saki. I think I'm going to fuck with Korea, because Korea is hard body, and I like my hard body drinks. They, they tend to, you know, make me go wild in the club, you know. Try to chop girls, you know what I mean? Spit on them if they don't like me. It's your boy Crondon, there's a lame man, strong arm studies the gang. Too many cats, the name is the same, man. You already know what it is, man. The albino, I'm drinking soju. I think we found yeah. a winner, you can tell. We would rather do business with Japan based on the delicious taste of sake. Second, second place is Korea. Third place is China. I guess that's how it goes. Rocket Reverse signing out, Mixly.com, peace. Now, although sake prevailed as the winner, drinking beiju may prove to be the better choice. With China's explosive growth at over 9% a year, we may all be sipping on some beiju in the near future.